In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new view. You can see here I've got a document library called Marketing, and in that document library, I've got some different documents of different types. I'm going to create a new view. I come to the All Documents menu and choose Edit Current View, and that takes me to the behind the scenes of the view I'm looking at. And I can scroll down here, and you can see I've got all the columns that I could possibly choose from there and their order and the ones that I can see are checked display and for this demo I just want to show you the file size of each file in the library so I'm going to choose file size I'm not going to choose an order because I want it to appear on the farthest right of my library so when I hit OK it's going to take me back to the library and you'll see I now have the file size on the far right hand side of the library so I can see the file size for every document. Next thing I want to do is sort the list by that file size. So I'm going to go back into all documents. I'm going to edit the current view again. And this time I'm going to scroll further down to a section called sort. And here I can choose the column I want to sort by, which is file size. And I'm also going to say show the items in descending order. So I should get the largest file at the top of the list. I scroll back up to the top, press OK. When the library comes back, it should be sorted by the largest file on top and then descending from there. The last thing I want to do here is save that as a new view. So again, I come to the All Documents menu and you can see I've got one view here called All Documents, which is the default. Now, if I press Save View, it's going to ask me what I'd like to call this view. And I'm going to call it Sort by File Size and save that. Now you can see I've got my sort by file size view here and I can always switch back to the all documents if I want to. I can also set the sort by file size view as the current view which will mean anytime that library opens up this will be the view that everybody sees. In this video I showed you how to create a view in a SharePoint document library. Thanks for watching. And if you like these videos, please share them with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be posting new ones every week.